Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lainey, but you could probably already tell that. Q&A for you guys to get to know me better. I feel like that's like a good way for you guys to get to know me and really understand. So we're going to be doing a Q&A from questions that people have asked me and questions that I've been asked before. And just so you guys can really get an idea of who I am and um, learn about me. So someone messaged me and said, give us your best dating advice. The best dating advice that I could give to you all, boys and girls, or whatever that you identify as, stay true to who you are and love yourself no matter what. If you ever feel like the other person doesn't love you or doesn't want to be with you or um, like they want to go off and be with other girls and they don't communicate, you need to let them know Communication is one of the biggest things in a relationship that I would probably say is like one of the most important, like the most important is communication, loyalty, and um, respect. If you guys don't have any, like at least one of the three, there's nothing like really to like, there's nothing that you guys could really do about it, but you have to think like, if you don't respect the person you're with, why are you with them? And if you don't um, communicate with the person you're with, why are you with them? Communication is like a really big key in a relationship. So um, that's probably the best relationship advice that anyone that could give you is stay true to who you are and always have respect, love, care, and um, communicate with your partner. At what age did you go on your first date? Okay. The f my first date, like officially, was when I was 15. Um, he took me to IHOP, and then he paid for my food. And then, yeah, it was really cute. And I was really into him at the time, but not everything works out and that's okay. But as long as you stay true to yourself, you will be okay. Can you touch your tongue to your nose? No. I can't, and I'm not going to try because I look stupid doing it. So yeah. Describe yourself in a single sentence. Um, I'm outgoing. I'm self-conscious. Um, I'm caring and loving and supportive. Um, Sometimes I'm judgmental and other times just like do what you want. Do, do I prefer Titanic or The Notebook? The Notebook? It's a classic. I mean, so is the Titanic to be fair, but like. Have you ever seen Finding Nemo? If so, what are your thoughts? Okay, I have seen Finding Nemo. That's all I watched as a kid. It was like my favorite show. But now that I'm older and like I understand like more, that's so annoying and I really, like I really, like it's not my favorite show now that I'm older. But Finding Door is pretty chill. How difficult is it for you to be honest with others and yourself, even when your words may be hurtful or unpopular to you or others? I'm on, on I'm like a really honest person and if you ever like get to meet me and like have the pleasure of knowing me, because it is a pleasure, every time I have a being my friend, um, I'm really honest, like I will tell you how it is, like if you're being a mess up or you're doing something I don't approve of, like I will, I will let you know and be like, I don't think you should be doing that. Like even if I can't stop you from doing it, I will still like let you know. Even if the words are hurtful, I don't sugarcoat things. I don't think there's a need to sugarcoat things. Um, everyone's old, at least all my friends are, everyone. Um, my age understands so if you're doing something that I don't think that I would put myself in the situation of doing I don't think you should be doing it and yeah of course I try to be understanding like obviously care about their feelings but sometimes you just have to tell them how it is and sometimes is all the time for me and I don't sugarcoat anything so how many countries have you been to United States 
Dubai, Bahrain, Qatar. Um, yeah, four, I wanna say. But those are all in airports, so I don't really know if you count those. So if you don't count those, I've been in three. Yeah. Yeah, I stayed in Doha. I lived in America. I lived in Bahrain. Yeah, three. How many oceans have you swum in? Swam in? Um, I don't really like oceans, to be honest. Um, they make my legs hurt. And it feels like I'm getting thousands of tiny, like, prickles into my skin at the same time. So I try and steer clear of oceans. Um, but I've swam in the Bahrain one, and I've swam in one in Gulf Shores, Alabama. And I think in Qatar, but I don't know if Qatar and Bahrain's ocean are the same. So, yeah. How old were you when you found out that Santa wasn't real? Probably, like, 12, 13. I held on to my innocence. Like the Easter Bunny, the tooth, no, the tooth fairy, I lost it like eight, but like the Easter Bunny and um, Stage Claws and the elves, like I held on to that for a really long time. If you could live forever, would you rather stay one age forever or get older? I would rather get older because as your age progresses, you get wiser and I think that no one, it's not healthy to live forever. And it's not healthy to stay one age forever. I mean, as you grow older, you become wiser and smarter. And I think that getting older and wiser and smarter is better and growing older with someone and dying with that person. And yeah. If you could save just one, would you rather save humanity or the earth? That's a tricky question. I, um, if I was to save the earth and then I could reproduce, um, like, other humans and then like humanity would be brought back. I would definitely save the earth, but if I could only save humanity, where would we go if earth disappears? True teacher star. One thing you know now that you wish you had known as a kid, everything, it's not always how it seems or as people make it out to be. Do you know the show Wizards of Waverly Place? And like in the theme song it goes, everything is not what it seems better. Do, 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 do. Two G she star. I should have known that a long time ago. Pick one, free healthcare or free education. Um, free education. Halloween or Valentine's Day? Halloween. IRS or Android? IRS. Kill or be killed? Killed. Kill. Meat or fish? Meat. Monopoly or chess? I hate both of them. Chess is boring and Monopoly makes everyone mad, so neither. Nike or Adidas? Nike. Okay, so Nike shoes, Adidas clothes. Pepsi or Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola. Stripes or polka dot? Stripes. Summer or winter? Winter. Texting or phone calls? I prefer phone calls. Vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla. What are your nicknames? What do you prefer to be called? I have a lot of nicknames. Um, <laughs> Laney Boo Boo, Ladybug, Laney Bug, um, Boo Boo, uh, Lele, Lay, Brooke, <laughs> Laney Rojax. Um, that's not really a nickname, just some guys call me that. Um, yeah. And I prefer to be called Lainey. What do you call your grandparents? I call my dad's dad, Pappy, but unfortunately he passed away. I call my dad's mom, Nanny. I call my mom's mom, Mama, and I call my mom's dad, Papa. What do you think about more than anything else? <laughs> well, um, my career and what I'm gonna do next and things like that, so. I think about a lot of food and Netflix too, but like. <laughs> what is at the top of your bucket list? I want to travel to all the major cities in the world. What is the first thing you do when you open your eyes in the morning? Close them. What is the first thing you think of when you wake up in the morning? Going back to sleep. 
What is the first time you were allowed to put on makeup? Um, I was originally allowed to put on makeup at 10. Like full, like full face of makeup, like eyebrows, like everything was 10. Um, I didn't really start wearing makeup until I was about 12 or 13. Um, but my whole life, I have four sisters. So my whole life I grew up around makeup and people like getting their eyebrows waxed and threaded and like their hair being like fixed here for like their, like so their makeup didn't like hurt it. And, so I've been around makeup my whole life and I would always, when I was little, I would get into my sister's makeup, which obviously made them kind of mad at me, but sis is not a makeup artist, so. <laughs> um, so I would say I probably started like playing around, messing around with makeup about six, four, five or six. Anyway, um, this is my first YouTube video and it's been a really great time and I hope you guys got to know me a little bit better.